Prince Harry reportedly did not say goodbye to his grandmother before she died because he was busy arguing with his father over his basic cable actress wife Meghan Markle. Now his friends are trying to spin the narrative to say he was snubbed and devastated at the time of the Queen's funeral. According to reports, friends of Prince Harry have said the Duke was left devastated by perceived snubs. The Duke of Sussex is set to release his tell-all memoir soon, with the final chapters thought to include some of the events in the lead-up to the late monarch's death on September the 8th. Lord Archer said that he's deeply concerned about the impact the book will have on Harry's already damaged relationship with his family. He added, I'm very sad, I fear for the book. I know they're writing the chapter on the funeral, so I suppose that's what the book will end on. Apparently Harry was gobsmacked at the public's response to the Queen's death, the figurehead of everything he spoke about with a forked tongue. As such, he's said to be desperate to make changes that tone down his fiery rhetoric. In contrast, Mr Archer says the Duke's publisher, Penguin Random House, will be determined to get its money's worth with the book generating plenty of controversy. He said, They paid him a lot of money, something like £20 million. You want to calm it down if you're paid £20 million? Archer said this about the Markle's current lifestyle. I always say, rather cruelly, I could survive in California for about a week. It's not a state that I'd want to live in. It's one of temperature and they're all wanting to be celebrities. And Meghan is now a big celebrity. How it will end, I have no idea. She's a very, very clever woman. Viewers of the Queen's state funeral were quick to say Harry had been snubbed as he was sat in the second row whilst Zara Tindall and her husband Mike sat in the front row, alongside senior members of the firm including Prince William and Catherine. Some royal fans noticed that the Duke of Sussex showed signs that he was still angry with the family during his grandmother's funeral. Because it was such a sombre occasion and the family was in mourning, no one expected to them no one expected them to look cheery. However, Dickie Arbiter noticed an unexpected emotion from Prince Harry. Arbiter, who was Queen Elizabeth's press secretary from 1988 to 2000, claimed that the Duke of Sussex's demeanour and facial expressions told us everything we needed to know about the way he was feeling. Arbiter said, If you look at all the pictures that were published during the funeral, yes, it was a very solemn occasion, and solemnity was the order of the day. But Harry wasn't only showing solemnity, he was showing anger. That was his body language. Besides, Tom Bauer has claimed that a damaged Prince Harry clings to Meghan Markle because he's a needy man. Tom Bauer reckons that Meghan satisfies all of Harry's requirements in a manner that none of his previous girlfriends could do. Bauer goes on to claim that Harry remains very disturbed by the childhood traumas of his parents' messy divorce and the tragic death of his mother, Princess Diana. I think he much more enjoyed paddling in the Pacific than shaking hands in the rain in a northern town in Britain, Bauer reasons. Whilst adding that he believes the funeral of Harry's grandmother, the Queen, last month, was a painful reminder of the isolation he feels from his family, as due to his voluntary exile, he was banned from wearing his military uniform and saluting the coffin. Bauer now feels that could have repercussions for the Sussexes' marriage, arguing, I think the funeral awakened some misery in him that he was so cut off from his family and friends and was an outsider, and I think that puts great pressure on the relationship. 